are there certain hard GPA LSAT cutoffs? Will you consider an application with a 135? Like, will you look at that despite the low LSAT score? Yeah, so we, and every school is different, but we read every single application front to back. Um, you know, LSAT is a component like everything else. So it's not, what you know, a bad score is not necessarily dispositive. What it does tell me is, you might not be doing so well on standardized tests. And why does that matter? Because the bar exam is a standardized test. Um, so it's just one of the components. Um, we have no cutoffs. Wow, that's, that's great to hear. Now, what about if there's a big discrepancy, like a, a super high LSAT, a super low GPA, or vice versa, the whole splitter and reverse splitter thing? How do you look at that when you see such a big uh, distance between those numbers? Yeah, it all helps. So what that tells me is probably, let's say you have a bad LSAT or lower LSAT and a really great GPA, you know, that again, that you're not so great at standardized tests, um, but that, you know, I could make the argument that you have really still very strong academic potential. Um, I would still like to see, frankly, that let's say you do have a 135 LSAT, you shouldn't apply to Brooklyn Law School knowing our numbers with the 135 LSAT having taken it once. Um, you, sh you know, we want to see that, that you're trying hard to, you know, take it again to study. We want to see that, um, that, you know, that, that you study hard, that you care, that you want to, you know, work on things. If you can't seem to increase it, that's, that's a different story. Um, but yeah, and the reverse, you know, if you have a lower GPA, but a higher LSAT, you know, again, that's an argument to make that, um, you know, maybe you actually it's an argument that the applicant should make that you know, for whatever reason, he or she didn't do so well in undergrad or graduate school, but X, Y, and Z has happened, and now, you know, they will do better. And ideally, you know, the writing, their personal statement is, is you know, shows tip-top writing, shows that there really is true academic potential, so try to make up for it in other ways. And a, and a good LSAT will show that, you know, maybe, you know, some will argue that you're still really smart. Um, so it all helps kind of make that argument to the admissions committee, but it depends on how you frame it. Uh, you should definitely submit an addendum explaining either why you had a poor LSAT or why you had poor GPA. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.